What's up guys, it's Jiggly Blunt here, and what I'm going to provide for you today is a tutorial on Movavi. It's going to be brief, it's going to be kind of basic, it's how I use Movavi to edit my videos. I probably won't go into all the details that I use, but I want to give you a brief understanding of what it is, and for around 50 bucks, it's right on spot. So stay tuned, and I hope you learn something. So, starting off with Movavi, you gotta first, of course, you know, download it. Um, you can go right here to movavi.com, and I will try and leave a link in the description below. Uh, it's not referral or anything, it's just gonna be for your benefit. Uh, pick your Windows or Mac, and it's as simple as going to Video Editor. For me, I have Windows, and you download it. You do have to have a purchased licensed key, and if you go on Google and type in discount codes for it, you can sometimes get this as cheap as like 40 bucks. So, enough about that. You go ahead and boot up Movavi, and then you want to hit edit video. And this is, I mean, this is, it, it's such a simple program. I, you know, and for the price, it's no Adobe uh, Premiere by any means, but, uh, it's pretty basic, I mean, but it handles it and you can do some effects and stuff. It's pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and jump right in here. So right now what I'm doing is picking my settings. I want to do a 1920-1080p. That'll go around 30 frames per second, and that's usually about all I touch. So you go ahead and OK. Of course, they always throw you an advertisement. You know, Like I said, it's no Adobe, but for the, for the money, Movavi is right on par. So first thing you want to do is let's go down to my videos and I have an intro um, that I always use and so I'm gonna throw that in there and then let's just say I want to add some of my recorded video here of some Minecraft gameplay so I go ahead and add that on in and we're gonna go ahead and uh, add on my outro so you come over here add on and you can notice how all within this it puts it in clips okay and so now you can do transitions to all of them which is normally what I like to do um, I usually have it just use random transitions but you can pick it down to one second and so as a sample of what some of those transitions do and are we can come right here so we can see barn doors uh, that's barn door going that way you can have barn door going that way circle out gradient up gradient across. I mean you can use all kinds of different uh, transitions. And so I usually just have it pick random. I think it's I think it's creative. It keeps you know whatever video you're doing you know pretty pretty nice and, and basic there. So we'll come back here. You notice how I had it added to all of them. So you got the transition showing in there. I usually just do one second. It's usually super quick and brief. So just to show you kind of what that's going to look like. What's up guys and welcome so, back, it's Jiggly Blunt here, episode 2, Minecraft Crunchy. So there we are showcasing some episode 2. Um, you can add your own. So right here, you can come to outro. It's pretty basic. Um, now let's say you want to feature a video in your outro that you can make later an annotation you know in efforts of trying to promote uh, another video of yours on a channel you can have multiple ones um, it's always up to you what you want to do but we will go ahead and come on over here to storage B YouTube videos and I'll pick a video here off the hard drive so my main computer runs off SSD but my mass storage is a traditional hard drive so it does take a minute to load so we're gonna say let's just upload Crundycraft episode 1 so I'm going to bring that up here to the second uh, overlay track. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to delete the audio. So I highlighted the audio track there. As you can see, I'll bring it back. You want to make sure just that is yellow, not both, just that one. Then you want to clear that off. And so as you can see, it's up there. I want it to be right over in here. So, But the other thing I'm also going to do is showcase the cut feature. So I don't want to highlight all my intro when I'm doing it. So right there is kind of where the intro leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cut. And then I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to say delete. Oh, notice how I had both of those highlighted. See how both are yellow? I just want that one. Now that one's deleted. Now that one's going to drop back down. 
and you could open that into multiple windows but that's not what I want so I want it to appear right there before the transition and I kinda want to cut it right there at the end of the transition so it looks clean so I'm gonna come back over here delete so I'm just gonna showcase that feature and I'm gonna drag that yellow so the orange lines right there before the transition and I'm gonna come over here to view and edit the clips properties so now it's gonna reappear on the overlay but this is the overlay so it always layers on top and I want it to be just a little smaller so that my spotlight can feature the video and it doesn't take up too much but now as you can see we'll come back hit play and now it appears and this is where you would do the noted annotation right there and people can click on it and go straight to your video of your choosing and then I also showcase the subscribe here um, it, it, I'd have to make another video on creating just your outro and intro so leave me some comments leave me a like if you want to see how I make my outro or my intro um, I'm more than happy to share if there's demand for it um, the intro is pretty basic the outro is a little more complicated but yet it was created with Movavi and Photoshop you do need Photoshop it is somewhat helpful in this um, but now you can come down here you can come down to your audio and you can come you know uh, let's see let's come back up here let's go back down here so boom I can tell this right here I want my volume to be lower I want the speed to be greater um, they also have filters so we can filter we can change the way this looks I can add a camera shake to it uh, dilation I can add uh, you know I can make balloons come up hearts come up you can edit all that um, with the effects they have they have a lot of different effects now again it's not an Adobe Premiere uh, you know I say Adobe I've never used Sony Vegas Pro but I'm told Sony Vegas is really good but now Movavi also has other downloaded stuff you can get this is just the basic one you get for like the forty something dollars that you have to spend on it if you don't use a discounted coupon code I think it's like sixty something so I do again recommend you go out there on Google and find you a discount code for it but the other cool feature is the text so I personally I use typewriter a lot so I'm gonna say I want a typewriter I'm gonna bring it down into the text right here we're gonna bring this up and I want this to be on the title page so we're gonna do that we're gonna bring that right before the transition and then I'm gonna come back over here to view and edit the clips properties so we're gonna say right here we're gonna say sample video and we're gonna highlight it I want the speed to come in greater I want the text to be a little smaller I don't want it to be bigger than my than my name if that makes sense to you you can change the font there's different I mean there's a lot of fonts guys you can have fun with it we'll go ahead and go with that one uh, we can even change the color let's make it uh, red for for s and giggles we're gonna hit apply and now we're gonna come back as you've seen there it kind of appears so now we're gonna hit play and you notice how it comes on in and you can have it do different things too you can put some effects on it back uh, it's crazy the creativity I mean this if you go from using like Windows Movie Maker or something like this is this is awesome and for a one-time fee you can't beat it now if Adobe would offer to sell their products you know it'd be a little better and even that I mean the monthly payment you know to kind of rent them is fairly cheap I mean if you can afford to spare it but if you want a one-time cost program this is a great great setup uh, you can come over here and we can add a record a voiceover so I can tell it I mean I could delete the audio tracks and I could come back and do a complete voiceover if that's what I so choose to pick your audio device um, and your audio quality whatever your preference or flavor what you want your volume and you start and when you start you hit that and then we can say stop if you notice how it gave us a countdown it does give you a three second you know wake up to to do that um, it's clean guys I, I can't tell you enough you know for a basic recording program and they also have other features let's see so real quick just brief exporting for instance this is on YouTube uh, you can come up here for uploading online and they have all kinds of different you know from Vimo Facebook MySpace I always do YouTube high def uh, quality that's again your flavor your 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 whatever you want to pick I always do good videos come out great make sure you file name it um, and then you can browse and set your default uh, location for a video and then you hit start 
this four minute video for instance for my PC would take like two and a half minutes to render um, it just depends on the size of the video the length and of course your computer's power processing all that good stuff um, I might at one later point do a video on what I use for a computer uh, my specs and all my um, equipment again if that's something you want to see please leave me some like uh, uh, a comment whatever you got to to communicate even send me a private message if it's something that you're interested in and I would most likely provide a video for you um, again I'm no means a pro but I enjoy doing this and uh, it's so much fun so when you export that's what you can do there uh, you can crop zoom highlight slow motion you can change all kinds of stuff so a lot of power the only way to really truly do it is, is to to get in there and play with it um, I can show you uh, let's not save they also offer convert video you can you can use them to record your computer screen again I use OBS that's my preference uh, you can I've never used any of these you can come back here record audio uh, photo data extras I mean, they're a complete video suite and for that price you can't beat them so movavi.com guys that is what you need to use if you're on a budget you're new to YouTube you're a growing channel I'm a growing gaming channel so again if you enjoy any of this be sure to leave me a like a comment and also um, if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'll hopefully have some more videos coming as well as gaming content so when you're sitting there bored and you're wanting something to watch or you're just tired of TV and you want to watch something on YouTube you want to watch something entertaining be sure to come by and check out my channel guys thank you so much I hope this has been helpful and as always, guys, much love.